lot of fun to look at those images because there's a lot of red and white atop the podium as they uh, receive their medals from Canada's Minister for Pan Am Games for the province, uh, Michael Coteau. Those are Canada's gold and silver medalists, Michelle Lee and Rachel Hondrick in the badminton singles for women. That was yesterday and this morning, my guest this morning in the studio. And ladies, I, I have to apologize because we're on the road in Hamilton for the soccer competition. But number one, congratulations to both of you. Let me, I'm looking at my monitor there. Medals looking great. How are you feeling? This morning. Good. Yeah, really good to be here. Well, really good to be here. And let Michelle, number one, double congratulations because you didn't just win, you were able to defend your title, your gold medal from Guadalajara four years ago. That's a tough yeah. thing to do. How does that feel? Uh, definitely feels really great. Um, in 2011, like when I won, it was an amazing feeling, but this time just winning at home, it just made it so much more special. Uh, well, because home for you is Markham, and you were playing in Markham. That crowd must have been incredible. Yeah, it was amazing. All my friends and family were there, and it just, it's just such a rare opportunity to be able to, to, to compete at such a high level in front of them, so I'm really happy. Oh, that's wonderful. Now, Rachel, let me bring you in here, there, because the, the wonderful extra layer to the story of you and Michelle, and I know people have been talking about your good friends, your training partners, you play together in doubles, but of course, there you are right in the images we're looking at now on opposite sides of the net. You are opponents. When you're facing each other, I mean, what is that dynamic like? Um, it's definitely tough because we have uh such uh, a lot of respect for each other so it's definitely different than playing someone that you don't know as well or from another country but at the, t at the same time it was really exciting because going into the match uh, I knew Canada would be finishing with the gold and silver and if it wasn't me I, w I, would, uh, I would rather Michelle win than anyone else so I'm really happy for her. Oh, that is very magnanimous. That's lovely. I wonder, though, because, you know, when you watch the, the Williams sisters, for example, when they play each other in tennis, there you are playing against not your sister, but your good friend. I mean, do you battle every bit as intensely? Yeah, for sure. I think uh, once we get on court, we both really, really want to win. So uh, even though we're really good friends off court, uh, on court, we still try to bring the exact same intensity as we would playing anyone else. But yeah, it is a bit more difficult for sure. Okay, but at least did you get to celebrate together, even if you were opponents in the game? Did you at least, you know, celebrate your gold, silver, one, two? Yeah, we did. Uh, had a good celebration <laughs> after the match, and uh, yeah, it's really exciting for both of us. Michelle, let me bring you back in now because you have really been serving notice that you are a force to be contended with uh, on the world circuit. Ranked number 15 in the world, but you've already beat the world number 10. Just weeks ago, you beat the world number one. So you're about to head off to the world championships in Indonesia. How does that feel to have that kind of record behind you in terms of confidence? And what are you saying to the world about you as a player in Canadian badminton? Um, I think it feels really good to, to know that I, I guess I can beat the, the world champion. And um, it definitely is a confidence booster. And I guess a lot of people uh, might not think that Canadian badminton is uh, can can do it and that's one of my goals is to show them that um, there's so much potential in badminton in Canada and I definitely want to work really hard to, to show people that and um, and I think that I can do it so yeah Oh, it's terrific. Rank number 15, and of course, the cutoff for anyone who doesn't know is 16 to go to the Olympics. So you're right in there, Rio looking really good. But you said something interesting, Michelle, and that is, you know, Canadians don't maybe think that is there for Canadian badminton. Do we have the wrong impression? Do we kind of think it's like a backyard sport that you kind of, you know, play with your nieces at the cottage or something like that? Obviously, when you play it, it's anything but. And we need to change our opinion, perhaps. Yeah, I guess uh, badminton is very underrated. People think that it's just uh, kind of just poking around at the shuttle uh, outside in your backyard, but there's so much more to it, and that's what uh, that's what's so great about the game is because there's just such a challenge to it. There's there's like a fitness aspect, so uh, power, speed, technique, skill, everything. You have to be charismatic on court to be even like the be like good at it. So I think that's one of the things that uh, people don't see. You know, I was reading, I, I don't think the numbers change. The fastest smash ever is 493 kilometers an hour. So that's not just, you know, as you said, 
dinging the, the, uh, the shuttle around in the backyard of the cottage. That's pretty incredible sport. Rachel, let me come back to you. You have really shot up in the rankings. You were 134th in the world, now up to 56th in the world, which is just an incredible rise for you. And again, a silver medal to go home with uh, from the singles. So what do you do as some of these big, even bigger international competitions loom in the future? What are you doing to up your game and to, and to get ready for hopefully being considered for those? Um, yeah, just going forward, just continuing to keep training hard. Uh, this is my first year doing uh, full-time badminton and just got the first year of traveling as well, competing internationally. So I'll just continue to play more international tournaments, get more experience and hopefully get more good results like this. Well, we wish you the best in that. There we are as we watch your singles. Gold to Michelle, silver to Rachel, and they had the bronze together when they were on court together as women's doubles partners. Thank you so much for coming in. Best of luck at the Worlds. What a pleasure to meet you, Thank even you. long distance. And congratulations, ladies, on your medals. Thank, Thank you. you.